I've just come here to Gibraltar Point. Okay, in December we had that uh, high tide and a flood surge. Now, there's the seawall, and I'm on the land side of the seawall. And when we come round here, here's the access road. That was flooded to quite a depth. Okay, this is the land side. So the sea had come over this, had breached this. This is on the Lincolnshire coast. So let's just come back round again. Up that way, there's Skegness, Mablethorpe. And you follow the coast up and you end up at the River Humber. Now let's just go over the sea wall. So all this lot was flooded, obviously. Now let's just see if we can zoom in a little bit. That line there, that's the river steeping and there's a sea bank the other side. We can just about get the camera to focus. You can see the boat and then the mast, no it's not a mast, there's a mast. And then the other side of the steeping is the seawall, which again got overtopped. So let's just follow this round. There's the visitor centre. And we're just going to go and have a look. But uh, let's just get onto a high point first, and I'll show you where the sea is. Right, right, I've got the camera resting on a post. The sea is a long way past that set of dunes over there. There's that set, and then another set, and then the sea. And if we come round here, let's just see whether we can zoom in. But the sea is right in the distance. I don't know whether the camera will actually focus or not. But the sea is all the way over there. A long way away. Anyway, let's go and have a look at the visitor centre because there's a few interesting bits there. We're talking here about global warming. I mean, okay, there was a high tide, and all right, there was a a surge on the high tide down the North Sea. But this is pretty exceptional and it wasn't just here that got flooded all the way along this coast got flooded boston the center of boston was full and actually on the boston stump which is the church tower uh, there are marks on there of flood times and of course there's a new mark there the highest of the lot so why anybody would want to live in a low-lying flat area near the sea it doesn't make sense anymore. Now here's the visitor centre. And of course, run by the Lincolnshire Wildlife Trust. Now I just want to show you this. There's a flat paved area around the building and the distance, the height between the paved area and the road must be at least five foot. Just bear that in mind. Right, look here. Hopefully you can see on that panel the line. I can't really see uh, there it is. 
the line where the flood came to. It's a good two foot up. Perhaps a little bit more. And look, there's the road down there. You can see in the car park there, the flood height. So this is the view to the sea wall. See how the, the sea wall is pretty high. Let me just rest the camera on here. There it is, you see. See those people walking. Yeah, it gives you a good scale. It's um, the sea walls about. 14 foot high, something like that. So here's the back end of the visitor centre. And the breeze is just getting up, so hopefully we won't hear it in the camera. But you never can tell. And the sea is right there in the distance. Last time I tried this, the camera didn't want to focus because there's no post here to rest the camera on. So there you go, it's creeping up on us. And the more you, uh, the more you go on continental flights on holiday, and the more you tear about in a big car, and the more you whack the heating up, and the more that you buy new stuff to replace stuff that's perfectly serviceable, just because it's a different color or it's trendy to have that sort of thing, the higher the water's gonna get. Not more you can say about that. Do you reckon they're talking about the the, uh, the floods? We carry on the way we're carrying on. It'll happen.